In this tutorial, we're going to look at getting Rhino materials into Grasshopper in order to parametrically manipulate those materials and synchronize them in real time with Fologram uh, on a mobile device or HoloLens. So to get a Rhino material, in this case, I've got a concrete material just crudely applied to this geometry here. We can use the get Rhino material um, utility component to pull the material out of any object that we have referenced into Grasshopper. So I've taken this Rhino object, which is a mesh, referenced it in here, and then using the get Rhino material component to get the material that's assigned to that object. We could then um, reuse this Rhino material uh, with any other object that we have in Grasshopper. Um, and it's just a convenient way of using Rhino's material editor to create and edit materials and then reuse them uh, in Grasshopper parametrically. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to synchronize this mesh object, which will override the material. And I'll hide that in Rhino. So we now just have a simple white mesh object. And to reassign the material in Grasshopper, we can use the assign material component or in combination with the sync material component um, to work with this material parametrically. So I'm going to get the material, I'm going to synchronize it, which is going to um, uh, store it on my mobile device, and then use the assign material component to assign this material to my synchronized object. You can see here that we don't have texture coordinates turned on with um, my synchronized object. So I'm going to switch those on from the right click menu um, of my sync object component, just so that we actually see those textures coming through again in Grasshopper. Now, the reason that we want to use these Rhino materials within Grasshopper is because sometimes we want to parametrically manipulate these objects. And so in the next tutorial, we're going to look at dynamically animating these mod um, objects using assigned transforms along with uh, animating these material properties.